Hello! So, when I talk about transgender subjects on this channel, I tend to use shorthands in the forms of like trans, cis, etc. And I use those words because it cuts down the amount of time that I have to talk from half an hour to three to five minutes. And that takes up less of your time and therefore I can get across all the information as quickly as possible. However, it's been brought to my attention that a lot of people who watch my videos don't actually know what these shorthands mean, meaning that they stop being time savers and instead start being confusing. So in this video I thought I'd give you the meanings for the shorthands that I use most commonly using transgender flashcards. Because you see it's, it's like a pride flag? No? Is that better? It's like a pride... okay. Let's get on with the video. So number one is the one that I by far use the most which is transgender slash trans. There's nothing on this card, I don't know why I'm using these props. So trans is my gender and it's essentially when somebody is born they are designated a gender by society and the doctors and everyone and then after growing up a bit they realise that that doesn't actually fit and it actually makes them hate themselves so they transition for their own health and benefit to the other side which is actually where their gender lies and where they fit in properly. Number two cis or cisgender. Cisgender is the opposite of transgender so cis just so you want to know because a lot of people always say oh well why do trans people get to pick trans as their label but we have cis. It's a latin prefix that means on the same side of whereas trans is a latin prefix that means moving to the other side of. Yeah so cisgender means that the gender that you were given at birth by society is fine for you and you completely agree with it and you never have to question your gender at all. MTF, this means male to female, which is shortening for trans woman, which is what I am. I'm a trans woman because I was born, I was given male as a gender by society, and then I moved over, or I'm moving over to female because that's where I belong. And then the opposite to this is, which is number four, is FTM, which is female to male, so trans men. Now we have DMAB slash AMAP. So DMAB, which is the one I use, means designated male at birth and AMAP means assigned male at birth. And like I've said before, when you're born, society gives you a gender. It designates your gender, it assigns your gender. So that's what this means. I am DMAB because I was designated male at birth. Then obviously the opposite would be DFAB or AFAB, which is designated female at birth or designated or assigned female at birth. Clocking. So clocking is essentially the trans version of gaydar. It's when somebody realises someone's trans and then like points it out for some reason. They don't need to do this and it's not actually a very nice thing. Clocking is actually, if you're called a clocker, it's kind of an insulting thing to be called. So don't clock. If Just let somebody go about their day. You don't need to point out what their gender is. I'm not going, hey look, sis. Passing. Now there's a lot of controversy around passing but this is just the linguistics of all these words. So passing is when a trans person is able to actually be perceived as cis. So a lot of trans women for example have five o'clock shadow that they can't get rid of because laser treatments don't work or stuff like that. Whereas some people are quite lucky and a lot of people say that I am one of them where we can be perceived as um, cis females which is safer. So passing is something that a lot of people want to do because it means they're going to be discriminated against less, but it also me is like why should we have to pass? I'm happy being trans, that's why I talk about it opening on this channel. Tranny chaser. Now if you're a tranny chaser, fuck you, <laughs> because this is an insulting term and I don't use this a lot because I don't like using the word tranny, I find it insulting and overly sexualized because a tranny chaser is like a chubby chaser. It's somebody who is only attracted to a trans person because they are trans. They don't care about our personalities, about who we are at all. They just think, oh you're trans, I'm sexually attracted to you, can I fuck you please? And it's like, no, no you can't because see yesterday's video. And also, fuck off, you sexualizing prick. I think it's fair to say that I don't like tranny chasers because we're people, not sexual objects that you can just wank over and fuck. Non-binary. Now, I tend to avoid non-binary topics because I'm not that educated in it and all that sort of stuff. But essentially, binary people are trans and cis people. So 
if you're a woman or a man, those are binary. There's only two options. And the, each of those options encompass both trans and cis women and trans and cis men. So that's a binary person. Non-binary is someone who's outside of that. So they might be gender fluid, meaning they their gender moves about a lot. So I've um, kind of destroyed my mental state by mentioning those last three words. Um, so I'm gonna say goodbye and I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, those those last three to me they're the to me they're as bad as using the N-words when describing a black person or using the F double G word to describe a gay person. So it's kind of fucked me up mentally. Anyway, bye. I hope the first one's actually with useful information and stuff, so yeah.